Welcome to Mormon Book Reviews, where an evangelical encounters the restoration. <laughs> this is your host, Stephen Pinecker, and I want to welcome you to another episode. So this is kind of an interesting book because it's kind of tangentially related to uh, the topic. But I think it's important that we do discuss it because there's been a error but that a lot of historians have made regarding the prophet and his relationship with a gentleman by the name of Matthias. This book is called The Kingdom of Matthias and is written by Paul E. Johnson and Sean Willits, Will, Willinitz. And uh, so often when they talk about the history of Joseph Smith, they also include this character in the story as though they were equals or both equally scandalous individuals. Now, the story is actually talked about in the prologue of the book where they talk about the, the one, about two days or so meeting when Matthias uh, came to Kirtland to meet with Joseph Smith in November of 1835. So this is kind of an interesting story because <clears throat> he comes there, he, he actually goes under a alias, I believe he used Joshua, he said that was his priestly name. At this time, Matthias was a well-known scoundrel. He had attempted to start a religious movement in New York and actually had a lot of appeal, this is in New York City, a lot of appeal with uh, some upper class people and some influential people and did have a following, especially with a lot of females. And um, it was a charismatic individual and he did have uh, support from people. But there was sex scandals, there was abuse, he was very abusive to his children. There was a court case, uh, which he did uh, somehow win. <laughs> but this, so this was when he visited Joseph in Kirtland in 1835, he was a known scandalous figure. And actually, I mean, this guy was accused of murder. So, I mean, like, that's how big of a scandal this whole thing was. So, what I find interesting in the prologue is that it talks about Joseph and, and him engaging with each other. Now, this is where the scribes were writing this down. So, these were Joseph's scribes. And they wrote down some interesting things that he was talking about. He was given his views. And this is what I like about Joseph was he gave him a fair hearing. Uh, Matthias did most of the talking. Uh, Joseph asked him questions. Um, and they had some dialogue and discussion. Joseph told him things about his background, including one of the earlier versions of the first vision when he talks about um, talking to two personages at the time. And so after they have this meeting, he actually allowed Matthias to address his group and speak and, uh, you know, actually had some dialogue with the guy. Well, after they uh, kind of confronted him and said, hey, you are this Matthias guy, because again, he was going under an alias. And they all knew it. He did admit, yes, he was, and all this kind of stuff. And he f said a few things about things, about what he believed who he was. And, you know, it was obvious that this guy was a little bit off his rocker. So at this point, uh, Joseph at this point made the decision, this man is not a man of God, uh, more like the man of the devil. This is what he said. I told him, he recorded in his diary, that my God told me that his God is the devil. Um, and then Joseph, who, like Matthias, had the power to cast out devil, devils, was gratified. I, for once, cast out the devil in bodily form, shape, and I believe a murderer as well. So, throughout the years, a lot of people have attempted to tie in Joseph Smith with his scoundrel Matthias, and this had a lot to do with anti-Mormon propaganda. And they just basically try to equate the two to say that they were basically equals. Joseph had a very uh, short-lived incident with the guy. Um, he did give him a fair hearing, uh, credit to him but then ultimately made the decision, this is somebody we do not want to be dealing with. Now, this book itself deals with Matthias, his rise and fall. Um, it is an interesting history because you're dealing with this burnt over, district, uh, burnt over district era type kind of religious experimentation. Um, he was one of many that came through New York and did his thing and had scandals. And basically it's kind of like just a scandal like we're so accustomed to with religious leaders. So it's an interesting history. If you're interested in religious history in general, in this time period, and this person was a contemporary of Joseph, and in the general same region of the country as him. So if you want a little bit more background about this person and why do they tie him into this, that's the main reason why I got the book, was I didn't really know much about Matthias, other than in many secular, as well as some evangelical histories, they will often bring this character into the discussion. And I think unfairly so, because uh, Matthias and Joseph could be never uh, further from each other now. So basically, let's get to the review. <clears throat> the Kingdom of Matthias by Paul E. Johnson and Sean Willinitz. Throughout 
the years, many historians of Mormonism have included Joseph Smith and his relationship with an infamous individual named Matthias. This book, in its prologue, pretty much shows it was a very short-lived incident. The reality was that many anti-Mormons tried to tie Joseph to this character to make him look bad. It's a shame that this exaggeration made it into so many writings for so long. The story of Matthias is a very interesting religious history of this time and region. If one wants to read about the rise and disastrous fall of a charismatic religious figure, this would be a good place to start. The twist at the end makes for a nice payoff as well. I hereby award this book four out of five stars. So there is a twist. So I'm not going to tell you a spoiler alert, but it is kind of an interesting twist and kind of a little bit redemptive in some kind of weird way. But either way, um, thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell, okay, so that you'll know when I'll be posting stuff. Things are going great. I've been doing interviews with people. Uh, we're going to be posting interviews. We're going to be doing all these book reviews. I'm very excited about where this channel is going. You have yourself a great day.